Good morning, beloved. My name is SL. I empower women and even men to become the miracle they seek through learning how to speak the word of God to cultivate faithfulness, knowledge of your value, your worth, your gifts, and much more. I will help you to create the confidence, the mindset, the joy, the action, the perseverance to thrive in all of life's circumstances, both good and bad. Please be informed that the Rebirth 5am declarations are also available live on the Mixlr streaming platform. Amen. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you this morning for the gift of sleep and for the miracle of waking up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for raising us to newness of life. Thank you, Father, for raising us to newness of life. Amen. 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 I woke up this morning with a song on my lips again. And it was, thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah Olupeja. So only God knows what happened to me in my sleep. Only God knows. We keep thanking God for fighting our battles. We thank God we serve a father that does not sleep. He does not slumber, he does not sleep, so that we can slumber and sleep. And he lets us know when we wake up in the morning that we have gone through something. He has done something for us overnight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just thank our Father. It's an awesome God. And so I've come to realize that the secret of success in life it starts in the morning. It starts in the morning. And I find this so amazing. You know why? Because the psalm that we have for us today is Psalm 59, verse 16. Quickly look at it. Quickly look at it. That's the psalm for this morning. Quickly look at it. It's amazing. Eh? Have you seen it? Psalm 59, verse 16. That is our psalm for this morning. And I say, the song I woke up with this morning was thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah Olubeja. Jehovah, my defender. The one that fights for me. Have you seen it? The psalm says, but I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love. For you are the fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. See the God that we serve. See the God that we serve. See, we serve an awesome God. Sorry, I don't have... See, we serve an awesome God. A wonderful God. So, the word that has jumped out at me is because it says morning, morning. We have taken our first precious moments to set the tone with reflection and with gratitude. We have to dedicate our day and our life to the only thing that matters, the love of God. That's the only thing that matters. So instead of relying on God as my refuge in times of trouble, hmm, it shows me that there are already things that are troubling me before I've even come out of bed. Are you getting me? I have not even started my day and something was already troubling me. What is troubling you already this morning? You have not started your day. Things are troubling you, yes or no?
There are so many things you have on your mind that you have to do today already. Not to talk of the ones that you are going to encounter today. I speak into your life and your home this new week that the hand of the almighty God will help you out of every mess and darkness around you in the mighty name of Jesus. That same hand that helped Daniel out of the lion's den. That same hand that positioned Daniel above all those that hated him. That same hand will do same for your life this week in the mighty name of Jesus. According to the book of Isaiah 60 verse 15, thou has been forsaken and hated so much that no man went through thee. God says, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. I declare upon your life that that same hand that changed the status of Esther from an, from an orphan to a slave, an orphan and a slave to the queen, that same hand will locate you and make you great, will locate your loved ones and make them great today. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. That same hand that brought Joseph out of prison and promoted him to the palace. That same hand will reposition you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that this morning God is going to announce his glory in your life, your home, in all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that that siege that has kept your family struggling for survival is lifted today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether it is a siege of marital crisis, poverty, barrenness that is in your lineage is declared broken today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is that person, that wayward person in your family? In fact, some of you, is not even one. There's many. Let me pray. Every wayward person in your family that is creating tension, creating crisis for you, I decree their deliverance today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray also that every member of your family that is yet to be saved, today is their day of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I release you as the Joseph of your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every captive in your household is set free right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every generational curse and hereditary problem, hereditary disease, all of them are destroyed out of your life, out of your family, by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked shot against you today, let it go back to the sender. Go back to the sender now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever suffering you have gone through, I pray for you that your children and your grandchildren, they will never experience it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every siege of untimely death in your family is declared destroyed today destroyed, broken by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God that today is your day of salvation. Just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Your family is now declared blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare, today is a great day for me. Today is a great day for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is a great day for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wall of Jericho that wants to stop you from possessing your possessions will be brought down in the mighty name of Jesus. Your weight is not in vain. 
but you will be strong. You will mount up with wings like the eagle in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just say amen 21 times. Amen, 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 Amen. I don't know. Is there anyone you know that needs healing? Do you need healing? Do you need healing? Is there anyone that needs healing? I want to remind you of something. Jesus paid for your healing on the cross. He paid for healing on the cross. Isaiah 53, 5 says, By his wounds you are healed. You know, sometimes you see people begging God to heal them. Mm -mm. You don't have to beg God. Because he has already paid for the healing. It is his heart to heal you, and it is his will to heal you. Do you understand? It is his heart and his will to heal you. It is up to you to partner your faith with him and his word to receive the gift. How can you do that? I don't know about you, but I know that the best medication is the word of God. The best medication is the word of God. And I want to encourage you to speak the word and take it as your medicine. If you have medicine you have to drink, you drink it, don't you? You don't go to the doctor and they say to you, this is your medication. And you collect it and you keep it in your house and you don't drink it. Do you understand? Do you know that the same Jesus who died because to, for cancer is the same Jesus who died for headache? Knee pain. Broken heart. Do you understand? So a lot of the time when you hear of sickness, people think of the big sicknesses. No. For every pain, every discomfort, Jesus died. So it's not just the big things, plus even the little ones you have authority over. So remember, scripture can be used for any situation, big or small, that you might be facing. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. As a child of God, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means you don't own your body. God owns your body. The only responsibility you have is to watch over that body. Do you agree with me you don't own your body? Do you know that? Are you aware you don't own this body? Because when a person dies, they carry their body with them. Do you carry your body with you when you die? Do you understand it now? That you don't own the body. God owns the body. So all you are meant to do is watch over the body and keep that body in health. 
Are you understanding it now? You are the one to exercise authority over your body. You are the one that is meant to keep your body free of sickness, disease, and infirmity. If you see and know whose you are, that verse that we first spoke should let you know that you are not ordinary. You have the right to tell your body how it should feel. Tell your body what to do and it will respond. Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty three that you will say eh, whatever, you, whatever you say is what you are going to have. Don't permit anything in your body that is not consistent with the word of God for your life. You have to take charge and rule over your body. When you perceive sickness in your body, what should you do? You reject the sickness. Any symptom in your body, you reject it. That's why you have a mouth. Do you understand? Things become real when you say they are real. They become real when you say they are real. Your words are not empty. What you say will come to pass. Therefore, talk to your body always. Talk to your body always. Don't say, I have a growth in my stomach and it's hurting so bad. The doctor says it's cancer. Don't talk about the growth. Talk to it inside. Tell it pain, cease. I didn't say you should not take your medication. You take your medication, but you will tell it, pain, stop. You tell your body, you must function rightly in line with the life of Christ that is inside you. Ah, Jesus lives inside of me. Why should I feel this? Body, stop. Because Jesus Christ literally lives in you. He dwells in your spirit. And he expresses himself through your physical body. You should be conscious of this reality. It's because you're not conscious of this reality that people just mess about and do all kinds of things. When you're conscious of it, you're able to exercise dominion over your body, over sickness, over disease and infirmity. Abba Father, we come to you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the majestic name of Jesus Christ. Just begin to thank God for the mercies that you have seen today, the mercies you see every day. Thank God for the honor, thank him for the privilege that he has given you to come before his glorious throne of grace where you are obtaining mercy this morning. Say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Give him all the praise that is due to his name. Thank God for the many blessings that he continues to bestow upon you. You are alive this morning. Your loved ones are alive. Thank God for provision. Thank God for going through the night with you. You don't know what happened in the night. Thank God for me. Thank God that I woke up with a song on my lips. Thank God. Tell him, you are the great I am. You are the alpha. You are the omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. Tell him that you continue to give him glory. Say, Lord, I will never stop blessing your name. I will bless your name at all times. Thank him. Tell him that his praise will continually be in your mouth. He's your refuge. He's your strength. Tell him, Lord, in you I have my being. Hebrews 4.16 tells us, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy, find grace in 
time of need to help us. Exodus 15 to the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will praise him. My father's God. I will exalt him. Thank God. Thank God this morning. Thank him. Awesome father. Let's just thank our father. Let's just thank our father. Let's thank our father. Let's just declare healing over our lives. Jehovah Rapha, you are the healer. Glorify the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Let's just praise him this morning. Declare that every stronghold over your life is broken. Every stronghold over my life is broken. It's broken now in the mighty name of Jesus. This is such an important morning because of what we are praying for. Let's quickly like this ministration. Let's quickly like it. I don't know how to tell you people to press that like button, but I will tell you again this morning. Quickly press it. Click on that like button. God bless you as you do so. God bless you as you do so. Click on the like button very quickly. Very quickly so that this ministration can go to as many people as possible. God bless you as you click on it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. As you click on that like button, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I pray that every high thing that is exalting itself against the knowledge of God right now is torn down and cast into the sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain is removed through the working power of the Godhead that is the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's thank God. Let's thank God this morning. Let's thank God this morning. I want you to declare that the Spirit of God is vitalizing every fiber of your being in the mighty name of Jesus. The Spirit of God is vitalizing, giving me strength and vitality giving my loved ones strength and vitality today in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that the God life in you is destroying every sickness and infirmity. Declare I am healthy and I am strong. I am healthy. I am healthy. I am strong. Declare it. I am healthy. I am strong. My husband is healthy and strong. My children, Michael, Michelle, Michaela, Mariana, Matthew are healthy and strong. My siblings, their children, spouses, my father is healthy and strong. You are healthy and strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that only the nature of Christ, his beauty, his glory, are manifested in my physical body. It is only the nature of Christ, his beauty, his glory, that are manifested in my physical body. Because he perambulates all over me, he is all over me. He is all over me. Jesus is all over me. Jesus is all over me. Jesus is all over me. His blood is flowing in my veins. The blood of Jesus flows in my veins. He flows in my veins in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus flows in my veins. Declare that you are living above the systems of this world because the greater one lives in you. I live above the systems of this world. The greater one lives in me. I live above the systems of this world because the greater one lives in me in the mighty name of Jesus. I am not subject to the elements of the world. I'm not subject to the elements of the world. My life is a testimony of God's goodness. 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 My husband's life, my children's lives are a testimony of God's goodness. The lives of my siblings are a testimony of God's goodness. My father's life is a testimony of God's goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that divine might is at work in your life. Divine might is at work in my life. My strength is renewed every day. My strength is renewed every day. Declare it. I don't know that person. You are going through chemotherapy. I want you to open your mouth and declare, my strength is renewed every day. 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 It causes me to triumph over sickness and infirmity. It causes me to triumph over sickness and infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth. I want you to say now, another person you are saying that you are, but you are ill. Okay, I agree you are ill. But I want you to declare, I refuse to be moved by what I feel. 
I refuse to be moved by what I feel or what my senses are telling me. I refuse to be moved by what I feel, what my senses are telling me. I will not be moved by what I feel and what my senses are telling me in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth. We are going back to those spirits, feelings. I refuse to let my feelings dictate my circumstances. My feelings will not dictate the circumstances of my, of my life. The way I feel will not dictate the circumstances of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. The way I am feeling will not dictate the circumstances of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Any symptom that I am perceiving, they are lying vanities. Any symptom I'm perceiving is a lying vanity because the life of God is at work in me. The life of God, open your mouth and declare it. The life of God is at work in me. It is working through me. So sickness has no place in my body. 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 I want you to declare it. Sickness has no place in my body, in my husband's body, in my children's bodies, the bodies of my loved ones. Sickness has no place. Sickness has no place. Sickness has no place in Jesus' mighty name. Let's just begin to thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Because God is at work in our lives in every single fiber, fiber of our being, in every cell of our blood, in every bone of our body. Let's thank God that God is at work in everything, our cells, our bones, our cells, our bones. God is at work in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth. My whole being is immune to death, decay, and the corrupting influences of this world. Everything about me, everything about me is immune to death, decay, and the corrupting influences of this world in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that the path, the, your, your, your path is the path of righteousness. My, 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 my path is, a, is, is the path of righteousness. My path is the path of life, joy, gladness, peace forevermore. Christ is my life. Open your mouth. Christ is my life. In him I live, I move. My being is in Jesus Christ. In Christ, I live. In Christ, I move. My entire being is in Jesus Christ. Declare it. My entire being is in Jesus Christ. My entire being, my husband's being, my children's being is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Declare that you have been delivered from sin, sickness, and death. I have been delivered from sin, sickness, and death and catapulted into God's realm of abundance. He says, I have come to give you life and life in abundance. I have come to give you life and life in abundance. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I am uninfectable. I am uninfectable. Hallelujah. I am uninfectable. 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 My husband is uninfectable. My children are uninfectable. Hallelujah. 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 My loved ones are uninfectable. We are uninfectable. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are uninfectable. We are uninfectable in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you now. You must command all sicknesses, illnesses. They must go. They must go. You talk to them this morning. They must go. So let's command. Every sickness, every disease, every pain, get out of my body now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to get out now. Every sickness, every disease, every pain, every infirmity, get out of my body now. Just get out. Get out of my body now. Get out of my body now. I command you to get out of my body. I command you to get out of my body. I command you to get out of my body. I command you to get out of my body. I want you to declare healing. Heavenly Father, you are my healer. You are my healer. You are my healer. Heavenly Father, you are my healer. And at the sound of your name, every knee must bow. Every tongue will confess that you, Jesus Christ, are Lord over the entire earth. So tell God, Daddy, right now, I declare and I declare that I'm, I, I hunger and I thirst for your healing touch. I need your healing touch now. I need your healing touch. I hunger for your healing touch. I hunger. I thirst for your healing touch. Lord, let rivers of living water flow through my body now. Let them flow through my veins, my arteries, and my blood. Father, let rivers of living water flow through my veins, my arteries. Let rivers of living water flow through my blood now. Let it flow through my blood. Let it flow through my blood. Let it flow through my blood, my husband's blood. 
my children's blood, the blood of my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am healed. By the blood of Jesus Christ. That person you are trusting God for fruit of the womb is also for healing. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am delivered. Let's just thank God. Say, Father, thank you for setting me free. I am eternally released. Thank you, Lord. 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 Matthew 4, 4. But he's answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. By what? You are living by the word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Isaiah 53, 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Talk to God this morning. Daddy, what is it your word tells us? Your word tells us that no man will live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. So yes, we need food to eat, but we also need your word to live. So tell God this morning that you have faith and you continue to trust the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you know you will see the manifestation of God's healing power upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You know something? You know, what you see in your head, where your mind goes, you know your body cannot go there. Do you know that? Where your mind goes, your body cannot go there. So I want you to look into your future. I want you to see yourself in old age. Not old, though, in old age. And see your victory. So ask God, say, Father, all these mercies I ask in your name. Because it's mercy we are asking God for. It's mercy we are asking God for. Say, Lord, all these mercies I'm asking in your name. I claim them. I receive them, so be it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. Who is blessing you? You have back ache, back pain, very terrible back pain. Very terrible back pain. Very terrible. My Father, my God, just want to thank you. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Savior, our, med our mediator. Because Jesus is our great physician. He's a healer of all diseases. He's a comforter of all afflictions. Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying this morning. Call upon your blessed name. For that person that is suffering with back pain, back pain, pain in their back. Lord, this morning, as that you look upon your servant that is in pain, they remain fervent in prayer. Father, I'm confident that you are coming today. You will renew them in body, free them from every ache in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even, even as they have gone to the hospital and doctors have come up with all manner of treatment plans, Father, as that you touch them with your healing hands, fill them with your Holy Spirit. Father, let them receive their healing in your perfect timing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I want to pray even for their loved ones. Because no one seems to understand what they are going through. No one seems to understand what they are going through. Father, I pray for their loved ones for understanding that even in this time, they cannot do anything. Father, we know that pain can affect a person's emotions. So, Lord, I'm praying also that they will be guided in your perfect love for them. I pray, Lord Father, for them to be calm 
for them to trust you, to trust in your healing power and in your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Another person, cancer, 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 praying for that terrible, stinking sickness, foul disease, cancer, to permanently get out of that person. I command every foul cancerous cell to wither and die, to be killed from the roots permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. And as it's killed from the roots, my Lord and my God, I'm also praying for the horrible pain from this foul disease, from the head of their body to their toes to never return in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for permanent healing from cancer with full restoration. By his stripes, you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just going to pray for healing in general now. I'm going to pray for healing in general. Our Lord and our God, we know you have our days out in front of you. We know that what would take doctors to treat, years to treat, you can do it in seconds. So Lord, this morning, for everyone that needs a touch from you, Father, we bow our heads, ask you to touch us. From the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, speak healing right now, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus for healing, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are special, in case you don't know. I want you to know that you are, you are truly loved by God. You are truly loved by God, and I love you too. And so I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your life. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, including that weapon of sickness. I decree over your life in agreement with the word of God. It says that when we decree a thing, it shall be established in heaven. So in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing as the word of God is being manifested in your body. The word of God is being manifested in your cells, in your organs and in your systems in the mighty name of Jesus. His word says he sent his word and it healed our diseases. So I decree and I declare that you are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, your scripture says that you heal all diseases. And whoever believes in you will not perish, but will have everlasting life. So my Lord and my God, I ask that you strengthen these ones in whatever illnesses they are going through. Sustain them. For the one that is laying in their sick bed, lift up everyone that the prayer team at Rebirth is praying for. Bible tells me, Lord, that when you are here on earth, you did all things good and you healed all kinds of sicknesses. Bible tells me you healed those who had diseases. You died and you rose from our sins that we may have eternal life in God. And I believe that you are here with us today. I believe so strongly in my heart. And that your most holy power will remove every sickness and evil that roams this earth. And so, Lord, I ask that it be done in your glory. So I declare total healing, complete healing in the name of Jesus. And we praise and we glorify you. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22 tells us, My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Father, this morning we are paying attention. We have turned our ear to your words. We will not let them out of our sight. We keep them within our heart. For truly, Lord, your words are life and health to our whole bodies. Declare that God's words are life and health to our whole bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Isaiah 53, 5 tells us, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and we are healed by his wounds. Declare it that Jesus Christ was pierced for my transgressions, my husband's transgressions, my children's transgressions, the transgressions of my loved ones, siblings, their children, my father, for everyone that is praying. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And so I declare that by your wounds, I am healed. My loved ones are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to declare Acts 3.16. By faith in the name of Jesus, I am made strong. Open your mouth and declare it. By faith in the name of Jesus, I am made strong. My husband is made strong. My children are made strong in the mighty name of Jesus. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that completely heals me. The name of Jesus heals me. Declare it. The name of Jesus heals me. Heals all my infirmities. Heals my husband. Heals my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Heals my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 30 verse 2. My Lord and my God, I have called upon you for help. And you have healed me. I have called upon you. Call those things with be not as though they are. I have called upon you for help, Lord, and you have healed me. You have healed me. You have healed me in the mighty name of Jesus. You have healed me. You have healed me. I don't know if you know anyone that is trusting God for healing. You better call them, ask them to join this call, join this, this ministration now, because I know I can feel the healing, the healing power of God at work. I feel the healing power of God at work. Psalm 103, 2 to 3. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So begin to praise God. He's the one that forgives all our sins and heals our diseases. Father, I praise you. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I adore you. I glorify you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are worthy of our praises. Father, we praise you this morning. 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 Jeremiah 33, 6. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Declare God is bringing health and healing to me. God is bringing health. He's bringing healing to me. He will heal me. He will let me enjoy Abundant peace and security. I will enjoy peace and security. My loved ones will enjoy peace and security in the mighty name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 7.15. The Lord protects me from all sickness. He protects me. He protects me from all sickness. All sickness. When others are falling ill, I will not fall ill in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not fall ill in the mighty name of Jesus. Jeremiah 17.14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I'll be saved for you are the one I praise. I praise you, God. I praise you. I have no other God but you. Talk to your father this morning. I serve no other God but you. I don't bow down to any God. Father, you are my all in all. You are my all in all. You are the one that I worship. You are the one that I serve. Father, I don't have any other God but you, my Lord and my God. Exodus 15, 26. You listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes. If you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptian, for I am the Lord who heals you. So talk to God this morning. Say, Daddy, I listen carefully to your voice. And I commit to do that which is right in your sight. I pray for my loved ones that they will also listen carefully to your voice. That they will commit to do that, that is right, that which is right in your sight. I pay attention to your commands, Lord, and I'm keeping your decrees. Father, help me. Because you are the Lord, you heal me. You heal me, Lord. You are the Lord, you heal me. You heal me. Exodus 23, 25. Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. 
I will take away sickness from you. Thank God. Thank God for taking away sickness. Say, Father, I thank you that you are the one that has taken away sickness from me. Sickness from my household, from my loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let's thank God this morning for his word that heals. Let's thank God. Say, Father, thank you for your word that heals. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for your word that heals. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for your word that heals. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. Matthew 8, 17. Declare, Jesus has taken up the infirmities in my body. He has borne every disease, every disease, every disease. Declare Psalm 118, verse 1, Psalm verse 17, 118, 17. I will not die, but live. I will not die, but live. I will not die. I will not die, but live. I will not die, but live. Declare it. I will not die, but live. My husband will not die, but live. My children, Michael, Michelle, Michaela, Mariana, Matthew, they will not die, but live. My siblings, their spouses, their children, my father will not die, but live in the mighty name of Jesus. Jeremiah 30, 17, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Declare that God, thank you for Jesus, who restores me to health and heals all my wounds. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Isaiah 57, 19. I am the one who gives them reason to celebrate. Complete prosperity is available both to those who are far away and those who are nearby, says the Lord. And I will heal them. Let's thank God for giving us reason. Hallelujah. To celebrate. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Thank him for complete prosperity that is available for you. Say, Father, thank you for healing me. Father, thank you for healing me, my Lord and my God. I thank you for healing me. Father, I thank you, my Lord and my God. I thank you for healing me. I pray for you that every plant that my Heavenly Father has not planted in your body, your mind or spirit is destroyed now, is uprooted now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to uproot them. Begin to uproot them. Whatever God did not plant in your mind, in your spirit, in your body, is uprooted now. It's uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that Jesus Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. Therefore, open your mouth and say, I forbid any sickness or disease to come upon my body. I forbid it. You are not permitted. Sickness, disease, you are not permitted. You are not permitted. You are not permitted in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not permitted. You are not permitted. You are not permitted in Jesus' name. You are not permitted. Sickness, disease, you are not permitted in my body. In my husband's body, in the bodies of my children, you are not permitted in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that every disease and virus that touches your body, it dies instantly. Any disease, any virus that touches my body, touches my husband's body, my children's body, touches the bodies of any of my, my relatives, of any of you that is praying right now, it must die. It must die. Open your mouth and declare any disease that touches our bodies must die now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you must die. That thing must die now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to declare that every organ, every tissue in your body is functioning to perfection. The perfection that God created it in. Every organ of your body, every tissue in your body, is every cell of your body is functioning to perfection in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I forbid any malfunction in my body. I forbid it now. I forbid it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I forbid it. I forbid it in Jesus' name. I forbid it. I forbid it in the mighty name of Jesus. I forbid it in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you this morning that through the word of God that has been imparted, God has imparted his life inside of you. Do you understand? As the word of God is spoken into your life, you begin to have the life of Christ in you. And it's that life that is restoring your body with every breath you take. You know, what is it we say? You want to feel God? Who wants to feel God this morning? You want to feel God? Let's quickly feel God this morning. How do we feel God? Just breathe. That's the breath of God. Just breathe. Because he has breathed in you. So the breath that you are breathing is the breath of God. So let's just, let's feel God this morning. Just breathe. That's the breath. I hope your mouth is not smelling. Uh -huh. 
That's the breath of God. So every breath that you breathe, you are, an, you are imparting the word of God. You are imparting the word of God. So with every breath that you speak, every word you speak, you are imparting. It is that life that is restoring you. It's true now. It's true. My own mouth is not smelling. It's not smelling. I thank God my mouth is not smelling. Amen. Open your mouth. Declare, Father, your word has become a part of me. A part of me. That is what is happening. The word God is part of us and it is what is flowing in our bloodstream. That same word is flowing to every cell of your body. Do you understand it now? Father, your word is restoring and transforming my health. Open your mouth and declare. Your word is restoring and transforming my health. Your word has become flesh because you sent your word and you healed me. There is, you know, if you sit down, you, you will get the understanding of this thing. You will get the understanding of it. Declare, my immune system grows stronger every day. Because I speak life to my immune system. I speak life to my immune system. I'm speaking life to the immune system of my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth now and say, I forbid confusion. I forbid confusion in my immune system. I forbid confusion. The Holy Spirit who raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me. And it quickens my and he quickens my immune system with life. The Holy Spirit gives my immune system wisdom so it knows what to do at the right time. The Holy Spirit gives my immune system wisdom so my immune system has the life of God, has the wisdom of God and it is what guards my life and the health of my body. The Holy Spirit is guarding the life and health of my body. The life and health of my loved one's bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every time I think of the fact that the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me, it means that in everything that concerns me, open your mouth now, the Holy Spirit is permeating his life through my veins. The Holy Spirit is sending healing through my body. You know, I don't see eh, when I cut myself now, eh? When I cut myself, I even the other day, the other day when I arrived in the UK, I had a little cut on my hand. Hmm? I didn't even realize I had cut myself until I saw my body. My body, literally, I had my clothes were stained with blood. I just thought to myself, this is blood of Jesus. So. <laughs> See how the blood of Jesus is just flowing. See how the blood of Jesus is just flowing. Do you understand? When I cut myself, it's the blood of Jesus. I always now I tell them in the hospital, I say, if I I say to them, I say, you know, you, are, you know what you are joking with? This blood you are drawing out of my hand is the blood of Jesus. So. Or don't you know that? It's the blood of Jesus that's coming out of Ali. I don't know about you whose blood is coming out of your body, but me, it's the blood of Jesus that's coming out of my body. Every cell that does not promote life and health in my body must be cut off now. It's cut off. It's cut off. Whatever is in my body, any cell that does not promote the life and health in my body is cut off now. It's cut off now in the mighty name of Jesus. It is cut off. It is cut off now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to declare that your immune system does not allow the growth of tumor in your body. No growth can live in my body. Open your mouth. No growth can live in my body. No growth can live in my body. No growth can live in my body. No growth can live in my husband's body. No tumor can live in our bodies. No growth, no tumor can live in my children's bodies, in my father's body, in my brother's bodies, in their, my sister's bodies, their children's bodies. No growth is permitted. In their spouse's bodies, no growth is permitted. No tumor is permitted in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. We have said it. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I command my body to release the right chemicals. 
Don't know who is here. Diabetes is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. My body is in perfect chemical balance. Open your mouth. My body, the body of my loved ones. There's somebody here as I'm talking now. You are feeling funny, a funny feeling in your stomach. Yes, it's part of your healing. My body is in perfect chemical balance. Declare it. My body is in perfect chemical balance. My husband's body, my children's bodies are in perfect chemical balance in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that your pancreas is secret, secreting the proper amount of insulin. My pancreas, who is that person? Open your mouth and declare. My pancreas is secreting the proper amount of insulin for life and health. My pancreas is secreting the correct amount of insulin for life and health in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare, in the name of Jesus, I forbid my body to be deceived. Nothing in my body is going to deceive it in the mighty name of Jesus. My body will not be deceived. My brain is sending correct messages to the organs. My brain is sending correct messages to my tissues. My brain is sending correct messages to my blood. My brain is sending correct messages to every part of my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth. My body is not going to be deceived by any virus or disease. My body will not be deceived by any virus or disease in the mighty name of Jesus. Neither will my body work against life or health in any way. My body will not work against life or health in any way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cell of my body is supporting life and health. Every cell. I have no rogue cell. I have no rogue cell. You hear that doctors will say, oh, there are some rogue cells. There is no rogue cell in my body. There is no rogue cell in my body. Every cell of my body supports life and health in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you right now, speak to your muscles, your bones and joints and say, you are normal. You are normal. You are normal. My, my muscles, my bones, my joints, you are normal in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are normal. My muscles and my joints, you are not permitted to respond to any disease or injury. You are not permitted. You are not permitted in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God promised me in 1 Peter 2, 24, he carried away our sins in his own body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. I have been healed by his wounds. Open your mouth and declare, I have been healed. I have been healed. I have been healed. I have been healed by his wounds. My husband has been healed by his wounds. My children have been healed by, their, by, by the wounds of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that his promise is permeating every bone, every muscle, every joint in your body, as well as giving you good health. You have sound mind. As well as good health, I have sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I am healed. Open your mouth and declare. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Jesus has taken away my sicknesses. He has taken away my diseases. He has carried my pain. I believe it is the will of God for me to be healed. Open your mouth and declare. It is the will of God for me to be healed. It is the will of God for me to be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Right now, begin to break every curse. Break every curse of infirmity. Break every curse of sickness. Break every curse of premature death out of my body. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not die before my time. My husband will not die before his time. My children will not die before their time. My loved ones, my brothers, sisters, children, my father will not die before his time in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you right now to break off every curse of witchcraft and destruction over your body from both sides of your family. I break every curse of witchcraft. I break it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I will live. I will not die. My loved ones will live. They will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to your body. Speak to every sickness in your body and say, get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out. I'm going to get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak to diabetes. Speak to high blood pressure, cancer, heart attack, stroke, multiple sclerosis. Be removed and be cast into the sea now. Be removed. Every sickness be removed and cast into the sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to your heart, your kidney, your back, your lungs, your liver. Say every problem, every problem. Every problem, every problem, every problem, every problem, every problem, every problem 
every problem in your heart, in your kidney, in your lungs, in your liver, in your back, be removed and be cast into the sea now. Be removed and be cast into the sea. Be removed and be cast into the sea. Speak to your blood now. Speak to your skeletal system. Speak to every bone condition, whatever it is that you are going through. Let those things now, every bone condition, anything in my skeleton, anything sciatica, whatever it is, I command you to be removed and be cast into the sea. Be cast into the sea now. Be cast into the sea now. Be cast into the sea now. I want you to speak to lupus every disease. Command them to get out of your body now. Get out of your body. I want you to pray now that every hidden sickness, every hidden disease, command them right now. Whatever it is that I cannot see that is hiding somewhere, I command you, leave my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Leave my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to infertility to to get out of your body now. Get out of your body in the mighty name of Jesus. For brothers that are going through one challenge or another prostrate challenges, challenges also with infertility, get out, get out now, get out now, get out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray now that arthritis, pain, rheumatism, you must go, you must go, you must go in the mighty name of Jesus. Command all pain to leave your body. Say all pain, get out of my body, get out of my body. Also, let's come against skin conditions. Let's come against skin conditions in the mighty name of Jesus. Vitiligo, come against skin conditions. Come against eczema. Come against dermatitis. Come against skin conditions now. Come against alopecia in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to infections. Come out of my body now. 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 Come out of my body. Now. Come out of my body. Come out of my body. Let's 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 let, let, let's speak to every form of breathing condition. Speak to every form of breathing condition. Asthma, hay fever, sinusitis, chest congestion, pneumonia, whatever it is, come out of my body now. 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 Come out of my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go back to joint conditions. Joint conditions. The pain from joint conditions is, is crippling. Let's come against every joint condition now and say that pain, you must go, you must go, you must go in the mighty name of Jesus. You must go in the mighty name of Jesus. You must go in the mighty name of Jesus. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. Go in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's speak to sicknesses that affect women, fibroid cysts, lupus, tumors in the female organs. Let's come against cancers. Let's come against it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Command all those tumors. The tumors must die. They must die. You know tumors die. Command the tumors to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Command tumors to die. Lose the fire of God to burn them out completely. Use the fire of God to burn them out completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Come against all these different nervous conditions, insomnia, acid reflux. Come against acid reflux now in the mighty name of Jesus. Irritable bowel syndrome. Come against it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth. God has not given you the spirit of fear. He has given you that of love, power, and a sound mind. Let's pray also for somebody, heart, heart and circulatory conditions. You know, some of some people you have all sorts of problems with your with with like varicose veins. Pray for irregular heartbeats, angina, stroke. All those things they must leave your body now in the mighty name of Jesus. They must leave your body now in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. You must leave my body now. Leave my body now. Leave my body now. Leave my body now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. I'm going to get out. Get out, get out, get out. I want you to speak to digestive disorders and allergies to certain foods. We are supposed to eat everything. God said we should eat everything. So let's come against every allergy. Allergies to certain foods. Let's come against them now in the mighty name of Jesus. People say can, can only eat gluten this. They can only eat that. Allergies to certain foods. You have no place in my body. Open your mouth and declare. In fact, when I hear people saying sometimes, they haven't saying it with pride. Oh, I can't eat this fish. I can't. No. God has given you the, the power to eat everything. Nothing is over you. So tell allergies, 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 digestive disorders. You have no place in my body in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell them you must go. 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 I want to pray now to everyone that is under one addiction or another to pain medication. You are here. You are here. I know you are here. So I break any and all addictions to pain medication in the mighty name 
of Jesus. I pray now for those who are going through pain from corroded discs, slipped disc, spine, back, neck problems. I command them right now be realigned and be put back in place in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, we release miracles of healing in our bodies. Father, we release miracles of healing in our bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell God that you are believing him for miracles of healing in your life, in your lives of your family members. Everywhere you go, you will receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let me receive healing. Let me receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that Jesus Christ has borne my sickness. Jesus has borne my sickness. He has carried my pain. So I do not give place to sickness or pain. Sickness or pain. You do not have any authority over me. You do not have authority over my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. God has sent his word and I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. He has taken away my sickness. He has carried my pain. I believe it is the will of God for me to be healed. I believe it is the will of God for my loved ones to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to break every curse of infirmity, break every curse of sickness, break every curse of premature death off your body now in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it off, break it off, break it off, break it off. Break it off, break it off, break it off, break it off, break it off in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it off in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it off in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, 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 break it. Speak miracle signs and wonders be released unto you now. Speak them. Father, let your miracle signs and wonders be released unto me, unto my loved ones now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just thank God that health and healing are coming. Father, we thank you that health and healing are coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God and ask God for forgiveness. Say, Lord, for every time I've allowed my fear, I've allowed guilt, I've allowed self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, sin, pride, and rebellion to open the door to sickness in my life, to open the door to infirmity. I renounce all these things. I renounce them now. I renounce them now. I will not allow fear to open any door again, to allow sickness into my life to allow infirmity into my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare, Jesus carried my sicknesses and my infirmities. Jesus carried my sicknesses and my infirmities. So all curses of sickness and disease are broken. Every hereditary spirit of sickness must come out of me now. It must come out of my loved ones now in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness or disease is permitted to come near my dwelling. No sickness or disease is permitted to come near your dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to command every germ or sickness that touches your body, it must die. Any germ or sickness that touches my body, touches the body of my loved ones, you must die in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare, I am redeemed. I am redeemed from sickness. I am redeemed from disease in the mighty name of Jesus. And thank you, Lord, even as I lose myself from every infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose myself from every infirmity, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Very quickly, I want us to pray for something. We are still praying for healing. I think, I don't know if you are going to pray for healing all this week, but, you know, I don't have release. But we are still going to, we are still praying for healing. You know, all of us, eh, we have experienced situations or circumstances that have left us wounded. Yes? Is there anybody here? Something has gone through. Something has happened to you that has left you wounded. You are still wounded, even as we are praying this morning. Who is here? You have gone through a challenge that has left you wounded. Left you wounded. Because emotional wounds, like physical wounds, they take time to heal. You are still wounded. You are still wounded. The key to all healing is to understand Truly understand, you have a covenant right to healing. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ has paid the price so that you can experience the promises of God. And if you don't believe this or know this is your right as a child of God, it makes healing incredibly difficult. The Lord who cannot lie by nature 
God is bound to his word. Therefore, you have to trust and take him at his word and say it is over. It is over. You have to pray over those emotional wounds. Psalm 89 verse 34. My covenant I will not break, nor alter the word that has gone out from my lips. Let's look at Deuteronomy 7, 12 and 14, 7, 14 to 15. Then it shall come to pass, because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which is swore to your fathers. You shall be blessed above all peoples. There shall not be a male or female barren among you or among your livestock. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and none and will inflict will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt which you have known, but will lay them on those who hate you. Psalm 30, verse 2. Oh Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. Exodus 15, 25 to 26. So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made a statute and an ordinance for them. And there he tested them and said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you, which I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 23, 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and he will take sickness away from you. Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Why am I reading all this scripture? It's food. It is food. Do you understand? Matthew 8, 16 to 17. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. 1 Peter 2, verse 24, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. So, why did I read all of those scriptures to you? Over and over again, the word tells us that a covenant promise of the Lord is to bring healing to every hurt that we experience, including emotional wounds. Let us pray. Our Father God, in the name of Jesus, we humbly come before you this morning. Your word says, Lord, that we have your mind. So, Father, this morning I am praying, I decree that our minds, our wills, and our emotions align with your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to ask God this morning, say, Lord, send your spirit to shape my mind. Send your spirit to shape my mind so that your covenant promises of emotional healing are manifested in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you, someone here, you are so angry with your husband. You are so angry with him. And you know that if you allow the anger, he's the one going to suffer. So you are struggling. You are so angry with your husband. I want you now to give your emotional wounds to God. Give those emotional wounds to him. Because his word says that we are healed in the name of Jesus. The enemy wants that man to be down on the ground. Is a, is a sorry, foolish man. Because you cannot be putting hot coal on your lap and be okay. They are not normal. It's not a normal person that does that. I want you to pray now and say, my Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus, I come out of agreement with any false truth or lie that is setting up itself against me. I come out. I'm no longer in agreement with it. I come out of agreement with any false truth, any lie, any deception. I'm not in agreement with it any longer. Open your mouth and tell God that the snares, word snares and curses 
that have attached themselves to you because of emotional wounds. You cast them out. Father, I don't want to have anything to do with them again. I may have used my mouth and said things in pain. So, Father, I reject those things I said that I know I was not meant to say in pain. Things that have attached themselves to me because of emotional hurts. I want you to think about the hurt, the pain of that hurt, and let those things go. Say, Father, I choose to trust in you. And I know that you will deal with whatever I'm going through in your perfect justice. Tell God, say, Father, I hand it over to you now. I have thought all sorts of things. I've had all kinds of scenarios in my head. Talk to God of how you want God to do what you want God to do. Say, but now, Lord, I understand. I hand it over to you. I leave it to you. I leave it to you. You have perfect justice. You have perfect justice. I leave it to you, Lord. I leave it to your perfect justice. Tell him that you're coming to him in the name of Jesus, and that you renounce every lie you have spoken as a result of these emotional wounds. Every lie I have spoken, everything I have done out of pain and bitterness. Father, please have mercy on me. Just ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. It's just not worth it. The things I've spoken out against myself, against others, even you, God, please have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. I want you to renounce those words. Come out of agreement with them. I'm no longer in agreement with them. I repent. I turn away from the wicked words. I turn away from those wicked thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. And ask Jesus for healing to come. Say, Father, I'm in the court of heaven right now. So I ask Jesus for healing. I ask Jesus for healing. Let healing come. Ask God to release his healing upon you and, of course, upon your family. Release your healing upon my family according to your merciful character and your covenantal love. Release healing. Release healing. Release healing. Tell him you have come before him in the name of Jesus. I'm here before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Release healing, Lord. Please, Lord, let the meditation of my heart, let the thoughts of my heart, let the words of my mouth be a pleasing aroma unto you, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Declare that every yes and amen will be in your account in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God and decree that, say, Father, as I spend time with you, spend time in your word, you will be strengthening me and empowering me to receive this healing. I want to receive my healing this morning, Lord. I want to receive my healing this morning, Lord. Tell him that you know that when you spend time with him, when you meditate on his word, that that word will not come back to God void, that it will accomplish everything. It will accomplish everything. Say, Lord, let my time, let my seasons be pleasing. Let my life be pleasing to you, Lord. Let my life be pleasing to you, Lord. According to your covenantal promise, as I draw near to you, you too, you will draw near to me, Lord Father. You will heal my emotional wounds by your covenant promises. You will heal my emotional wounds, Lord. I know you will heal my emotional wounds. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. Thank you, Lord. Let's just thank God. Let's stop here because we are going to pray. Continue these prayers tomorrow. Let's just thank our Father. Let's thank him for this time in his presence. Let's just thank him for this healing. This healing that has started. Don't know. Someone, yeah, you have in-laws that are terrible, 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 terribly terrible. They will never change. Just know that one. They will never change. We just pray for them to change so that they will make heaven. Let's just thank God. Let's just thank God. Let's thank God even for this time in his presence. Let's thank our Father. Let's thank our Father for this beautiful new week. Let's thank God. This is already, we are in the second week. In the second week of April. April is running, oh. April, where are you running to? Let's just thank our Father. Let's thank him also for everyone that is celebrating a birthday today. Father, we bless you for our celebrants. Yesterday, there are so many people that celebrated birthdays. 
my goddaughter Tosa Otubu was she celebrated her birthday. My dear sister Bimbo celebrated her birthday. The day before, Sister Hawa Jane Bassi celebrated her birthday. Sister Janice Koleowo celebrated her birthday yesterday. We thank God. We thank God for all the celebrants. April is a beautiful month with very beautiful people in April. All the celebrants, April celebrants are so beautiful, so loving, so kind. Let's thank God for those celebrating birthdays today. Oh, wow. Sister Adi Odiachi, your mom is 75. Praise God. It's a beautiful day to be 75. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless her. God keep her. God make his face shine upon mama. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to give her strength. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us thank God for what he has done for us today. Let's thank him for his healing. And we know that his healing is permanent in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's thank God for the testimonies that we are going to, we're going to have. I had good news over the weekend. A sister who had a baby boy, praise God, the sister Adese, we thank God. We thank God for his favor upon his, their, their lives. That child is supremely blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is happy birthday to Sister Uju. We thank God for her life. Happy birthday, Sister Uju. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. 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 I'm just trying to see the names. Hallelujah. Well, beloved, you know, I love you truly, deeply with the love of the Lord. But Jesus Christ loves us best. Remain lifted in God's presence always. We have time with ourselves today. We are resuming our normal ministrations from today. Look forward to as many of you who participate in time with the SL. We have Bible study today as well. In fact, Bible study is double double bumper because we are going to do two, two, um, two studies today. So Sister Bosse Osho is repeating the study of last week and Sister Nyala Kate is going to take her study as well. God bless you all. Have the very best Monday ever until next week, Monday. And see you at our different ministrations today. Stay lifted in God's presence always. Amen.